you use this term Torah Christology, which is a term that I wish I had come up with. You know, I mean, that's that sounds like so, so that sounds like some like a first fruits of Zion. It sounds like something we'd get in trouble for saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but here you have here you're using it, and and you you talk about this quote from um, Hans Hermann Henrichs. Well, you don't quote him. I think you paraphrase him uh, here, where you say, "Um, Jesus is rooted in the life of his people, both genealogically." through descent from David and Abraham, and culturally through a spiritual formation dependent on a Jewish religious institution, the synagogue. Therefore, the Torah he incarnates cannot be abstracted from the life and history of the particular people to whom it was given. I mean, that's a, that's, you know, I remember when I first realized that and I almost fell out of my chair. Um, And of course, this guy realized it years and years and years ago. But, um, you know, just to contrast that with the way that I used to think coming out of Protestantism, which was that the Old Testament was the Old Testament and, and Jewish people added a bunch of stuff to it and Jesus came to get rid of all that and re- restart a pure religion and all these things. And then I, I never realized how much of that I carried into my sort of burgeoning Messianic Jewish worldview and to realize, oh, you know, the synagogue means the synagogue and Judaism is Judaism. It's the whole thing. But Torah, Torah Christology, um, maybe you can unpack that term. What is Torah yeah. Christology? Yes. And, and uh, this is something that uh, that was emphasized a lot by uh, by Pope Benedict um, uh, and mm. uh, also earlier before he was Pope as uh, Cardinal Ratzinger. Um, and mm. it's um this idea really that we sometimes express in the in the messianic jewish world uh as uh, that yeshua is the living torah he is like he is like the embodiment in some ways it's like a reading of uh, john chapter 1 you know which speaks about the logos or the memra and um and seeing yeshua himself as a, a, a as as in his very person, not just like the fulfillment of the Torah, but the Torah it, yeah. itself in flesh, uh, and and this of course is connects up with um, with some traditional Jewish teachings. You know that a uh, a great rabbi who is truly living, um, you know, as a tzaddik, a righteous person, uh, 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 a saintly person is meant to be like living Torah, such that, you know, you, you, the Torah is not just something that you, you know, you study as a book. It's something that you actually can touch. And when you want to see what it means to, to, to follow the Torah, you need to kind of follow a tzaddik around and watch what the tzaddik does, you know, uh, and, and that's, that's Torah. That's learning Torah, you know. Um, and so, uh, building on those notions, uh, you know, Benedict uh, very much built this idea of of you, that Yeshua himself was this this embodiment of the Torah. And then hmm. uh, some Catholic thinkers um, uh, took that, and this I have referred to this one particular one that you mentioned, uh, Henrik's, um, that uh, says yes, and that way in which Yeshua becomes the Torah is something. That is that can't be uh, abstracted or detached from the living existence of the Jewish people, a community, a culture, uh, and and that connection is something that endures. And to the point now where there's like a uh, there was a wonderful Catholic document in 2015 that I would highly recommend that people. A look at that they probably it, it, it was a, it was a document it's a document called great title the gifts and the calling of god are irrevocable nice. the name of that's the name of the document the gifts and the calling of god are irrevocable it was a document produced on the 50th anniversary of nostra Aetate. uh and it um it's a document that tells uh a bit of the story of the you know of 
Nostra Aetate's creation and, and its and its impact over the previous 50 years, and then tries to uh, to go forward, to take it uh, further, you know. And in the midst of that, it has a section on um, on Yeshua, on Jesus as the Torah, as the living Torah. And then where it 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 what it it, it goes so far as to indicate that um, when the Jewish people are encountering the Torah because of the connection that Yeshua establishes with the Torah. Jewish people are, in a sense, encountering Yeshua. Or that wow. we could that could potentially be a way of understanding. It's a little more tentative. They're be trying to be very careful in, in the way in which they state it. But it's clearly moving in that direction. And so that notion of a kind of Torah Christology has an impact not just in how we understand who Yeshua is, but then how we understand the this connection such that when one is encountering, not only, let me go back. You say Torah Christology means when we encounter Yeshua, we're encountering the Torah. Mm-hmm. But what is being opened up as a possibility in this document is when we're encountering the Torah, we're encountering Yeshua. 